First, a distinction. We're in an impeachment inquiry right now. Basically, House committees are investigating whether there is evidence to warrant impeachment proceedings against the president. And as those investigations continue, claims like this one are adding confusion. It says that if Trump is impeached and the Senate doesn't confirm it, Trump's first term as president is nullified and he gets to run two more times. Is this true? Let's verify. Impeachment is laid out in Articles 1 and 2 of the Constitution, but they don't say anything about the process nullifying a term. Check out the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution as well. It's what added term limits to the presidency. It says, quote, no person shall be elected to the office of the president more than twice. It doesn't talk about presidential terms, it talks about elections. So even if the impeachment somehow nullified Trump's first term, that wouldn't matter. Since Trump was elected once, the 22nd Amendment says he can only be elected one more time. These claims are false. There's no evidence that a presidential term is nullified if the Senate clears them of an impeachment. And because of the 22nd Amendment, there's no situation where a president can be elected more than twice. Next, a claim on the other end of the spectrum, saying that if the House impeaches Trump, but the Senate hasn't voted on it by the time the 2020 election happens, Trump won't be able to run. There is literally no evidence to back this claim up, and the tweets don't point to any sources. When it comes to impeachment, the Constitution does say someone can be blocked from running, but only if they're found guilty. It doesn't say anything about barring someone from running if they're currently being tried. This is a false claim, too. The president can run in 2020 if he's in the impeachment process, but no ruling has been made. And an important note, as you see more claims, for Trump to actually be barred from running in 2020, the House would have to move forward with impeachment hearings, the Senate would have to find him guilty, and the Senate would have to choose to disqualify Trump from future elections. Clear Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.